are here with head women's basketball coach Carrie Lohr as we preview the 2015-16 season. Losing the National Player of the Year isn't something that most coaches have experience with. Talk about what the process has been like moving on from uh, after Sharita Brown. Sharita Brown is a once-in-a-lifetime player for any coach, and so probably that was it for me. I don't know if I'll ever have an opportunity to to coach and and be around someone of that caliber. So you don't replace someone like that. Um, but what you do is you continue to grow your program and you have people excited about Wayne State basketball and you have others that see what you can become in Division Two. and she's really set the bar. I think becoming an All-American at Division Two is a very attainable goal for many student athletes and women's basketball players in the state of Michigan. So I hope if anything people have taken a look at that and if their personal goal is to become one of the best in the country, that she has proven that it can be done. It can be done at Wayne State for sure. Mm -hmm. The bar has set, uh, been set pretty high for Wayne State women's basketball. Five NCAA tournament wins the last three years. That's tied for the most in the region. Talk about your message to the team and your coaching staff about uh, managing expectations and the goals from year to year now. You know, that's really going to rely a lot on our seniors and those that have been with us. I think that our freshmen are right now along for the ride, and until you experience it, you don't really understand it. So that is where your senior leadership is going to be very important. There is no, no doubt in my mind that my expectation is to continue um, continue to make a run in the NCAA tournament to earn a spot in the NCAA but we've got work to do and just like everyone else we're trying to figure out who's who and and what pieces and where um, not only did we lose a player in Sharita Brown but you know we have a point guard in Jackie Jones that we have to try to try to figure out mm -hmm. where how and what we're going to do there um, we have a an athlete who's kind of a sleeper and Andrea Hughes that came off the bench and really um, was like an unsung hero for us a lot of times. So we have a lot of opportunity for our players. The expectations are the same, with or without an All-American. The expectations are the same. You talked about those seniors. Talk a little bit about what that trio of seniors, Chris Long, Brittany Streetman, and Ashley Wilson bring to your team in terms of leadership and production. They, they have to lead us. There's there's no doubt about it. We will we will suffer if Kristen, Brittany, and Ashley don't lead. And that's the bottom line. And that's kind of a lot of pressure. But in the same sense, it is a reward for them. I mean, Kristen and Brittany were two freshmen playing in our first NCAA tournament in a long time um, in a Sweet 16 game in front of close to two to 3,000 people at Ashland. And they were freshmen. Um, so they need to they need to bring it, and I think if they lead us and those three lead us, I think that we're going to have a fun year. I think if they don't step up and they're not leaders, I think we'll struggle to find some identity. Um, Ash, I'm really excited about Ashley Wilson. She has been in the program now for three years. Was a redshirt last year and she really developed um, on and off the court. So I'm excited to see what Ashley's gonna bring. Obviously, losing the players that you lost, uh, is there a change in philosophy and strategy? How will Wayne State women's basketball look on the court this year? Well, we're, we'll look, I think we'll look different. Um, I think our philosophy is the same. I think we're just going to look different. Mm -hmm. um, before Sharita Brown, we had a center for two years in Juanita Cochran. So, I think we're, we've always had an inside presence. I think we'll eventually have that in, um, in Brooke Wallace and Christina Green. I'm not sure if we'll have it by November 7th, but I, I think we will have that in the future of our team. But we will look different. I think um, that's to be determined who's going to emerge and be our scoring leader and who's going to emerge and be our rebounding leader. And who, I think those things are yet to come. But the exciting part about this group of girls is that they genuinely care about one another. They genuinely 
want to be a part of something special, they just have to um, they just have to put all that out on the court, and that's that's where we're we're going to be challenged. Can we put it on the floor? All right. Thanks, Coach.